Next month will mark the 105th anniversary of the worst natural disaster in Minnesota history. The Moose Lake Cloquet Fire remains the second deadliest wildfire in U.S. history, with a confirmed death toll four times higher than the recent Lahaina Fire in Hawaii. Five years ago, Boyd Hooper visited one of the 35 Minnesota towns destroyed in that fire, and tonight, a look back. Some details of our history are almost too painful to unlock, but we enter anyway. That's sad. So the stories, unlike the lives surrendered here, are not forever lost. There it is. That's the mouth into the Soderberg root cellar. On October 12th, 1918, Minnesota endured its deadliest natural disaster a series of wildfires forever attached to names such as Kettle River, Cloquet, and Moose Lake. The driest summer in nearly 50 years, strong winds and desert-like humidity all conspired 100 years ago this week. The Soderbergs, Scandinavian immigrants, huddled with their children in the root cellar as the fire approached. Three generations plus a sister-in-law that was visiting. 14 Soderbergs seemingly protected by stone and soil. Yeah. Lois Johnson thinks about them often from her home overlooking the old Soderberg farm. They see this black smoke in the air and think, well, it's not gonna come here. And then all of a sudden it does. And where do you go? What do you do? You know, they hadn't thought about that. No one had. Certainly not those who tried to outrun the fire. The roads became littered with their failed attempts. In contrast, the Soderbergs' choice seemed sensible. They decided to be here that they were gonna survive in the root cellar. And of course, they made the wrong choice. Many others made the same mistake, crawling into root cellars and abandoned wells, which the hungry fire quickly robbed of oxygen. Hello ceiling and the walls are perfectly intact, you know, with the meat hooks hanging there, what it must have been like for the searchers to come and find these people there and sitting there sleeping and they're gone. They're not living anymore. The fire destroyed Cloquet. Moose Lake too. Though hundreds of townspeople survived by fleeing into the lake, some without exiting their cars. This is the Moose Lake uh, Fire Monument. The Soderberg adults and children were laid to rest here in a mass grave dug by hand days after the mayor of Moose Lake had put out an urgent plea to the governor for 300 caskets. The old ones always said that if the fire decided to kill you, it would. Or if it wanted to let you go, that's what it did. You had no choice over it. More than 450 Minnesotans died in half a day. A clump of trees surrounding the root cellar is all that remains of the Soderberg place, a sacred spot where the story is remembered. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. And flowers grow. Boyd Hooper, Care 11 News, Moose Lake. If you'd like to learn more about the Minnesota's worst natural disaster, the Moose Lake Historical Society operates a fire museum that is worth a visit. You'll find a link to their website at care11.com. Fascinating history there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've heard a lot of stories wrapped mm -hmm. around that, but then you just, just think, think about think the about, people right? and the towns gone okay. and people just escaping into the lake. And just not place. able to get, obviously, water there. It's no just water. a totally different time. Yeah. yeah. Just amazing. Yeah. Okay.